Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I'm a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. So today, Virg, I pulled two cards. All right, I didn't really get any messages for you. But I am getting some energy coming very strongly from the opposite energy or from your person that you are watching this reading for. Now, the first card we got for them talks about give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So I feel like you and your person are in a place where it's like, it's not perfect, but it's also not the most terrible thing. There are things that this person feels like you guys can work on together. I feel like, Virg, you have been in a, a um, I want to say an energy of stability, right? Like where that's what you want. And we've been getting that throughout your reading. Do you want long term? You want to make sure that you're investing properly. Yada, yada, yada. We know how you, your story is going, right? But the King of Pentacles for you to be in this energy also lets me know it's like you want to be sure that you have an equal kind of part, that you are dealing with somebody who is reciprocal. Because if not, Virg, you're not afraid to uh, release this person or walk away. All right. But I feel like this person is feeling highly triggered by you because the second card they pulled is Twin Flame. Right now, you could be dealing with a Twin Flame. But another meaning that I take from this card is that this is a highly triggering connection for them. Right. So sometimes I get an energy where you and your person are good and then they kind of disconnect. OK, they retreat and you wonder like why this is going on. But there's a heavy energy with you two where you guys are like like ice and fire. You guys just kind of collide in the, all the wrong ways. Sometimes I just got. So let's go a little bit deeper into this. I want to see how you feel toward this person. And then I'm going to get uh, your person's energy exclusively. So what's going on with my Virgo here? What's going on with my Virgo here, Sphere? How's my Virgo feeling about the situation? Okay, this doesn't belong there. Okay. How is my Virgo feeling? Okay, Page of Pentacles. So, Virgo, I feel like you're being you're being wise. All right, you're being wise about the situation, but you're still here. You're still present. You're still showing up. You're like, listen, I like you, so I'm going to keep showing up for you. I'm going to keep investing in this shit until otherwise. And I feel like, Virgo, you kind of really sit with yourself. Some of you guys are practicing meditation, right? Being more prayerful at this time or just being more intentional about how you move, how you move about. And I feel like because of that, Virg, you feel more confident in your decisions. Like even let's say the situation with you and this person doesn't uh, work out. I feel like you feel confident in being able to bounce back. Yes, you'll be hurt. But it's like, you know what? I've gone through so much in my life that I've bounced back from that. This person, I'm not going to let them steal my joy even if things don't go right. So what is this? I feel like you're investing though, Virg, but I don't think you're doing it in such a large way. Tell me why the Page of Pentacles is here, please, Spirit. Why is the Page of Pentacles here for my Virgo? Okay, Queen of Wands. I feel like as, okay, here's the thing. As you continue to invest in this person, in this uh, relationship, for some of you guys' situationship here, uh, many of you guys are in an actual solid relationship, so let me know. But as you as you continue to invest, you feel good about it. Like you feel like it's the right thing to do. You feel like your confidence is growing in this connection because this person is really seeing you for who you are and vice versa. You don't have to front or flex to this person. You feel really good about showing up as yourself. Um, I'm also getting here, Virg, you're less like inhibited. So when something goes wrong, Virgo's like, um, I didn't like that. Or I wasn't really feeling when you did this or that. This is not the quiet Virgo. Sometimes we get that energy from you. Um, in your readings where you feel some type of way and you'll keep it to yourself. You're like, I'm not even going to make a big deal, but this is not that right. I feel like you have an actual, you have a constructive way of speaking to this person or, um, kind of just bringing things up, right? You're not afraid to do that. You'll do it. And I feel like Virg, for some of you guys, I just got, will keep bringing it up if you feel like it's not being addressed. Okay. And it could be issues around commitment or this person being in and out like you'll bring it up you'll maybe even some of you guys let me know down below because this could be kind of specific we'll say it in a playful way like oh I haven't heard from you I thought you fell off the face of the earth like something like that because you see that this person is in and out you don't really you're not really feeling that I think you get this person but just because you get them doesn't mean you're not gonna speak up on it all right let's be very clear on that give me more give me more here What is this for my Virgo? Okay, the judgment card. Decisions, decisions, decisions. So Virgo, I feel like at some point, like you have, you gave yourself a cutoff period. You're like, listen, if this isn't exactly what I want it to be by X date or X time, or after this talk or after this meetup, I'm going to make a decision. Because I feel like you feel like uh, you don't have too much skin in the game. Like you won't be too hurt. With however this unfolds before that, but you have some sort of timeline or deadline for yourself. Give me this. Let's get a truth card. 
Okay, let me know. Because I feel like you're, you're forcing yourself to like level up, boss up, make a decision about it. Okay, what is this judgment card here? Okay. So we pull distractions and hustle. Right? I feel like you have you could have been distracted by this person or distracted by this union for a while. But it's like there's a there's an energy of clarity that you're that you're um coming into. And I feel like it's really good. It's a really good look for you here, Virg. Right? Like I feel like your readings lately, I like how you've been showing up with this with this person or the situation thing going on. Because it's like you're not you can you could be distracted if you allowed yourself to, but you're not. Right? You're gonna be able to make that decision when you said that I'm gonna make a decision. What is this that you're contemplating? Yeah, you're contemplating your stability right now. You're just seeing how it goes. Let me see how it plays out. You're not really talking about the fact that you're about to make a decision, but I feel like you are being vocal to this person here because your stability is, is at stake, right? And you're not going to allow yourself just to, just to go with the wind. That's not the Virgo's vibe at all. Okay, so let's get, um, let's get your person's energy here. Okay, some of you guys are divorced or dealing with a divorcee. All right, what do we have here for this person? Because they feel like they want to work on this partnership with you. They still see some sort of um, something fruitful here. So how does this person, or why does this person spirit? Let's, let's get that question. Why does this person want to work on this with my Virgo here? Why does this person want to work on this with my Virgo? What do we have here? Okay. Ooh, page of wands. Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me, Virg. Okay. So page of wands in the reverse for why they want to work on this uh, relationship. I feel like Virg, it's more about what happens when they know that you're upset and they're not speaking on it, right? Cause the minute that you get upset or you feel like your needs are going unmet and they're not saying anything, they're not really saying anything about it is when they realize that things are changing. Why? Because you have a way of still being present, but pulling back your energy in some way. I don't know exactly how you do that. How are you present, Berg, but somehow pull back your energy still, and they feel that. So that's making them uh, want to really work on this relationship here. They're like, okay, I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to see how the Virgo feels. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I have a clue. So let me try to show up a little bit more. Now, how is this person working on this? How is this person working on this with my Virgo? Okay. Seven of uh, Cups. Now, that's interesting because um, I believe, we, yeah, we pulled this distraction card uh, for you where you used to be distracted. And now your person has a Seven of Cups, which talks about distractions or having difficulty making a decision. So your person isn't really quite clear on how to make things work or exactly how to move forward. And I think that's the problem. But I think you already know that. Hence why you're already acting in this way, in the Page of Pentacles way. Your confidence does grow over time, very, but... I don't know. It grows in a controlled way. You don't let it get out of hand or something like you no longer like you're not the out of hand lover who's just head over heels and smitten over somebody like you got all type of control over that shit. OK, why is the seven of cups? Why does this person get confused about how actually to work on this uh, relationship here? OK, we got temperance. OK, because the, here's oh, wow. First of all, you guys could have been going through this with this person, this particular person for a long while here, right? Where it's like you guys go through that same dance and I feel like your person, they're all out of ideas, like literally all out of ideas because again, like your, first of all, the first uh, divine feminine that came out for you, male or female doesn't matter, is the queen of wands. So that's showing me, Virg, that you have this new and improved attitude to you right because you're usually the queen of pentacles nine of pentacles kind of energy but you're popping out as the queen of pentacles today so it's just making me feel like this person hasn't seen you like this in a long time maybe this is how you were when you guys first met where you weren't really on them you were letting them kind of initiate or contact you more you're like listen i'm not about to do too much messing around with you you can initiate you want to talk to me you contact me you want to hang out with me you set the plan whereas that's like the energy you're getting back into and you haven't been into that energy for a long time so your person's like wait a minute right like having a day having like a, um, a flashback moment where it's like wait I don't remember the Virgo being like this for the bulk of the time. Okay, well, the Virgo is is understanding it's a new dawn, a new day. It's a new season for the Virgo. And I feel like that's very triggering for your person. Why is that uh, twin flame card here? Why is that twin flame card here for Virgo's person? Okay, yep. Eight of swords. They don't know what to do with it, Virg. Don't know what to do with it. They also have... Okay, so you guys... Some of you guys could have like a telepathic connection with this person. 
Where when you're thinking of doing something or you're preparing for something here, Virgo's not going to be in their favor, like having to make a decision at some point, because that's what you're forcing yourself to do. They can feel it, right? Like, I don't think you told this person, like, you're on a timeline or your time is ticking. I think you're just, you're patiently watching, right? You are being vocal. That's the difference, though. You're being vocal about when your needs are going unmet. But in this person's mind, Virg, it's like something's wrong. <laughs> something is wrong. Why is this person feeling that? Let me get a truth card. Why is this person feeling anxious or feeling like something wrong here? What is this? Mm. <laughs> All right. We got in the shadows. Okay. Cause you caught, so you're like a thief in the night. Again, this card, it has like a, a person. There's actually a person holding this ground, but you can't see it because they're all black masked up, got the, um, shiesty on. Okay. If you know, you know, so there's the energy. It's like, you know how to play the background so well, or you know how to play it cool and smooth so well that this person is scared okay i just heard shivering in me timbers right like that's literally how you have this person um because again they feel like when you get too cool or you're too comfortable or too in control of your emotions it's like wait 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 what's about to happen with me in the virgo because this is like a smooth criminal like this is giving like um like ace energy from uh belly right or like um you know, like the head honcho type person, they're usually quiet. They're, they're, they're ne their right-hand man is usually loud and boisterous. The one who really calls the shots doesn't have to say a thing, okay? So I feel like that's the kind of energy that you got right now. Yeah, Virg. All right, this person isn't doing too well. All right, so give me more. Give me more on this energy. Um, I don't even know which deck to pull from here, Virg. Give me more on this energy uh, for this person the Virgo five of pentacles they feel like this is coming up <laughs> Virgo's like it may be okay this very well could be a reality so kind of sit in that a little bit understand that 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 it could be a go all right somebody um has a, a really nice car could be your person a luxury car they drive around in it a lot okay they take pictures in it a lot for some of you guys <laughs> all right let me know down below if that's your person that's very specific but I feel like there's this fear where if they if they don't act fast they won't have an they will no longer have opportunity to act at all. What is this? Just one. What is this spirit? Mm. Okay. So we have obsession popping out. Right? Now this person, I feel like they're becoming a bit obsessive with how they think about the situation, a bit obsessive with like what's going to happen with it. They're going again, because remember, they pulled the eight of swords, like. Let's not make light of this, Virg, this person being in this place. They feel literally stuck. And it's, be, it's causing them to kind of obsess about all the things that could go wrong. So you might have noticed, like, um, or you might start to notice, I should say. Let me know down below if this is already happening. But this air of desperation coming from them. Or they're not as, like, cool, calm, and collected as they usually are. They seem a bit more frantic. And that's coming from your energy. You might not be realizing that you are very triggering to them at this time because they feel like they're they're like low-key and slow motion watching you leave or something or watching this situation just go away from them. Okay, let's get more. Um, let's get, okay, let me get a couple more truth cards, Spirit. Give me more. Why do they feel, why am I tapping into this despair or, ooh, all right, somebody's dealing with a fire sign, okay? Or this is a very fiery, hot connection in all ways, okay? From the arguments to the bedroom energy to the fun to the intensity, okay? That would really sum you guys up well. Okay, somebody has fire highly aspected, okay? Pound sign, fire Virgo. All right, but give me more here, spirit. Give me more on why this person is feeling so afraid or feeling rejected already, it's like they're already counting themselves out. Okay, we got a water sign. So you guys are signs are just popping up. Um, so Spirit is giving those of you confirmation who are dealing with a fire sign specifically or a water sign. But let's get one more for why they're feeling so rejected here. Mm, okay. So it's love. Okay, there's love in the picture here and love that needs to be nurtured. But it's like, how can we nurture this if... I can feel the Virgo about to make a decision about me. I don't know. I don't know what this is, why they feel like, look at the bottom of the deck. I'm feeling you like literally I can feel you about to make a decision about me and I don't really like how it feels. Okay. 
All right, what do we have here, Spirit? Let's get some from the white deck on this person's energy toward my Virgo at this time. Okay, we got all of a sudden, right? So some things are definitely taking shape. Some things are changing in this connection here. Now, I want to uncover these cards in the extended Virgo. I want to get your person's next actions toward you, how they're truly feeling but do not have the courage to say, as well as likely outcomes. So if you are interested, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute.